Cancer, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. We are going to tap into your bonus reading, okay? This message, you can have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for North Node. If you are cross-watching for Aquarius or anything with Aquarius, all of Aquarius readings are now going to the Aquarius only channel. Yeah, we're going to do that. Because they only literally had one reading and that could clear up space for me over here to do more. So make sure you subscribe to both channels because you should be looking at signs for your sun, moon, rise, Venus, and north node. Okay? That's just for the cancer. Okay? Make sure you like the video. Drop a comment below if it resonates. And if you are new here to the channel... Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Supreme gratitude. And yes, I do offer personal readings. You can click the description box below to book your personal reading. Shall I just put... I just put this sign up here. <laughs> on this name thing. As soon as it falls one time, I'm taking it down. All right. All right. Y'all got some drama going on here. Drama and chaos. There's multiple people in your energy, Cancer. You got bad karma, dodging bullets, okay? Blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected from the haters. Girl fight, arguments, physical fight at war, competing. Player, yeah. Evil eye, someone is wishing ill intent on you, confused, not knowing which way to go. Someone is really into you, good chemistry, great, great and positive vibes, Okay. So, Cancer, you got two people here. <laughs> um, based on the cards that were showing them fake their faces, um, somebody is in your energy, and they're doing and trying to say all of the right things. You may feel as though this person has nothing to gain. This person, you may not even know that this person likes you. You may not even know that this person likes you. And, um, it could be somebody else that's in your life that you may like, or they may like you. Energy is fluid, reverse the roles as need be. And somebody's like causing some type of conflict, trying to pull you away from someone. You're not, you may not be looking at it that way for some of you. Some of you guys, you just are dealing with two people and they're caught in the rapture. But that story is a story that I got. So if somebody around you, you may feel like, you know, they don't have no reason to, to do this, but they are. There's some jealousy in the mix here. You know what I'm saying? It's, I tell people all the time, women can communicate with each other without saying a word and have a whole conversation. And a man can be sitting right there and don't even know what's going on. Okay? Um... Somebody here is getting bad karma, all right? So there's somebody within your space that is messing with someone else in your space and they're getting bad karma right now. Like they're getting, they're getting it, okay? You, you feel like, you know what? I, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with the low vibrational stuff. I don't want to deal with the negativity, all right? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to get in between what y'all got going on. You know what I'm saying? Somebody competing. But you know, you got multiple options here, and somebody's wishing ill intent on you. It's there. You're confused as to what to do at this time, so you're like, eh, "You're cancer. Eh, I don't have time for it." But there's someone that is really into you. Good chemistry. Great vibes. There's somebody here that is, like, really, really, like, your person. You know who it is. You know who this be. 
right, let's clarify bad karma. Did I even? Did I jump on the deck? Okay, let's clarify bad karma. Sure. Chariot. That's your energy. So you, you're getting bad karma right now. Cancer. Something that you did. You got Cancer. You got Leo. You got Virgo here. You're getting bad karma, and you're determined to move past that to get to, to reach success. Okay, stream card here. You gotta jump out there. You gotta go for it. Bad karma has is accompanied by two major iconas. You gotta face your fears. Have courage to move past this. You gotta acknowledge that this is your bad karma, right? For something that you did, you have to acknowledge that you're going through karma. You don't have to because you you can stay in it, obviously. But if you're here, <laughs> I'm going to tell you how to get around it. One, you got to acknowledge that you are getting karma. Two, you got to acknowledge what you're getting karma for. You got to have the strength and the courage to get out of this energy. You got to you got to ask for forgiveness to your egungun, to your ancestors, to your ori. Pray. You got to you got to pray through that. I, I don't know I don't know you always pray. I always pray. I don't care if you got a plan, a man, a woman, whatever. I always pray. Because we never know what we're doing in this, on this journey that may be insulting to others, others other energies. You know, you always want to give thanks and apologize. If there's anything that has um, caused any issues. Okay. So you're going through some karma right now and you're trying to block all the BS. That's why you don't want to go through this clarified girl fight. This is why you don't want to be a part of no BS that, that some women got going on. You know, what they got going on, what they see in past, what. Page of Cups here. Okay, I'm gonna give it backwards. Um, he's the Knight of Pentacles. It's like you want to get on the same page, but you don't want to keep repeating cycles here. You don't. You, you. How can you get past this and not happen anymore? There's something that you're no longer looking back on. There's something that you've decided. Like, okay, this is too much. You might be siding with the wrong person. Just say, FYI, it was there. I had to give it to you. You might be siding with the wrong person. Okay. Let's clarify, player. Okay. That could, be, that could be the bad karma. You're siding with the wrong person. And, 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 and you're going through karma. Because, baby, look. Now, how is that possible? <laughs> so, player, you're playing the game, right? Okay, thank you. Ashe. So, one person is, 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 you know, like, whoever this person is. I don't know if you're in a relationship with them or if they've just been around you for a long time. They're a good friend. Whatever they feel towards this other person in your energy, I feel like you you wanted to move past it, but you don't want to... You, you're embodied with whatever you got going on. You don't want to go back and forth. With the player card, you got a lot of positive energy with it. For me, that spirit saying, keep your options open. Don't side with one because you've been there longer. Don't side with this one because you've disliked this one. Like, keep your options open. Play the game. Cancer, it's time to play the game because you've sided with the wrong person. You will have success, acknowledgement, okay? Somebody here could be in the limelight. Something is going to be illuminated. Something is going to come to the light about somebody that's in the limelight. And this is justice. This is karmic justice here.
Okay, evil eye. Someone is wishing ill intent on you. Who's wishing ill intent on you? Someone that you are not communicating with. You could be caught in something with a Leo and an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Leo came right. So there's a Leo in the mix. Leo or an air side, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You're not communicating with this person. And it's like you found your happiness... A lot of Leo energy here, though. You could be like, okay, it's better that, that we not communicate. <sighs> Someone is wishing ill intent. Someone is wishing that you fall. Someone is hurt that something is not going in their favor. If there's a fire sign here because you got bad karma, you and then the Leo. You could have bad karma for siding with the Leo. Someone is trying to take your energy. This is okay. Let's clarify confused. Hell, you confused. It's confusing me at this point. Like, no. Um, clarify confused. King of Wands here again. It's a fire sign in your energy. It's a fire sign in your energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's a fire sign in your energy. Five of Wands. Two of Wands. Four of Wands. King of Wands. This fire sign that's in your energy, it's, it's a lot of drama, a lot of conflict, a lot of chaos, a lot of words being 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 said rather to you or behind your back. They want you to choose them, choose your family, choose stability, choose their side. Doesn't have to be in love. This could be somebody that you're working with. It's a fire sign in your energy that wants you to choose. Okay, let's clarify into you. Let me see who this is. Into you. Good chemistry, great vibes, they are positive. Hey, into you. So this is somebody that, oh, pff, seven of swords in reverse, queen of cups in reverse, wheel of fortune. So there's somebody that's into you, the person that's into you, like, they're still there. They're not like, oh, okay, well, you're not communicating and I'm taking all of my stuff off you. You stopped offering something to this person or they didn't offer you love because it wasn't the right time for that. But this right here is somebody that you can get money with. There's going to be an awakening on this situation. You're going into this person here. This is somebody It wasn't the right time. You wasn't into them. They wasn't quite into you, but they're still in your energy. It's not this fire sign. The fire sign is trying to dominate your reading. This was the last card that came out. And Spirit is saying, you're confused because this fire sign is dominating your energy. This fire sign wants what they want. This fire sign is wishing ill intent on you. I don't get how y'all do it. Okay. First of all, once you start wishing ill intent on me, I pay attention to every word you say, whether you mad or not. So don't tell me that oh, I just said that because I was mad. Oh, yeah, that count. That definitely count, right? Because when someone is mad and angry, that's when they show who they are. They're drunk. That's when they show, that's when they show who they are. 
So if someone's giving you an evil eye and wishing ill intent on you, like, okay, if it's not me, like, one, it tells you this person needs to do work on themselves. You know, you're wishing evil on somebody because you can't have your way. Two, this is telling you that, you know, when things get hard or when things are the best, this person is like, you know, they don't have your back. I can't stress it enough. Whoever this fire sign is is, 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 is what you're caught up in is what you need to move away from. This person is here. It, it wasn't time for that. But whoever this outside person is, I just feel like it's a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, air sign here. Ten of Pentacles. You guys are going to come together and have a, have communication. Get a solid understanding. Judgment card is here. You guys are going within. Okay? You're going within, making the judgment call. I know what I need to do. I know where I need to go. I know I have to get a line. I, you're reflecting. You're answering that inner calling. You're about to rebirth yourself and be a new you. Knight of Cups. You're going in with this offer. Not something extremely, you know what I'm saying, serious. Something like, hey, I like you. This person could be a diviner, all right? Also, you know, high priestess energy. You're intuitive, Cancer. Okay, you're very intuitive. Trust your intuition. This person could do some type of spiritual work, spiritual diviner. You're going towards this particular person. You're giving into the situation. Now, while you're giving into the situation here, you do have the Queen of Wands in reverse, right? Now, when this Queen of Wands comes out in reverse, baby, that they, they're beasts. That's when now they're trying to, like, like if they really doing all of this and they want you, trust and believe they're going to be sending stuff your way, right? You know, they're going to be trying to do whatever. They're hurt. They're scoring now. <coughs> because they wanted this relationship. And they did not see this coming. They did not see you walking away from them, which is what you need to do. This shit is toxic. Ace of Pentacles. It's toxic. Somebody, you're feeling trapped. And bound to a situation that you need to let go. It's hard for you to let go. This person is trying to compromise your energy so you don't forget about them. So you don't let them go. Baby. You got, you caught in between the two. And <laughs> if you're choosing this fire sign, you're getting bad karma because you're choosing wrong. Leave your options open. Even if you don't take it from this reading, leave your options open so come you can pay attention for yourself. Okay? All right. If you like a personal reading, click the description box below to book your personal reading. You can visit my website to do so. Supreme gratitude for your love and support, Cancer. I share.